Hey everybody, Foilface here. We are back for our daily check-in. Today is February 28th, 2024. And today I wanted to talk about um, some more stuff relating to what we were talking about yesterday because a lot of you had some really interesting things to say in the comments after my last video yesterday about some of my thoughts about the universe. And I thought this would be a cool idea to kind of make this like a conversation where I can post a video and then you guys can you know, tell me your com your uh, your comments on what I had to say. We can kind of keep this conversation going. I think it might be a cool thing to do. Um, yeah, some of you were saying, uh, one of you posted, let's see, I was talking about the idea of how, you look at the universe, if you look at the very the big bang and then the very distant end of the universe, how they both are basically a singularity. When you look at things being evenly distributed, that is the same thing as a singularity. We we're talking about because of that, it's possible that the universe expands from a Big Bang. Every possible universe plays out during that expansion. And then once things are evenly distributed again, like they were you know, right before the Big Bang, that plays out again. So the idea that one of you was saying that it's kind of like the universe has no beginning and no end. If that's if it's constantly like that, you know the universe is infinite both going into the past and going into the future. So there really is no beginning or end to the universe because like you said in the comment there, it's like when you point put a mirror, face a mirror into a mirror, you see, you know, that infinite series of mirrors. So it's like the moment that it starts, it, it's it, it's infinite. You think about, you know, every possible scenario playing out at once. It's basically a continuous singularity. You know, think about every possible location that a particle can be. Every time we get to the next layer, think of it kind of like an onion. Each layer of the onion, you know, every possible arrangement of particles plays out, you know, again, 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 as you get layered in this onion. And it's just the universe could be a continuous singularity if you believe that there is a multiverse of universes playing out at the same time. I mean, this is pure pure speculation, but it's just a very interesting thing to think about, that it, there really is no beginning, no end, it's just this continuous singularity and this life that we live, this universe we're in, is just an inevitable arrangement of particles. You know, things were going to be, we're going to play out at this point, or things were going to play out this way at some point in the infinite iterations of the universe. So, it's kind of like the universe is there's an infinite number of universes happening right now, and then they play out infinitely to the future and infinitely into the past. So that was kind of a cool, cool thing someone was saying. Um, and then related to that, someone else said maybe free will and fate um, are kind of have like a dual relationship where it, we have free will and like things are determined and predetermined at the same time. So that would make sense, you know, if every universe is playing out at the same time, you have the ability to, you know, make decisions and, you know, choose which universe you want to keep going into. But at the same time, every possible universe is going to play out. So at some point, everything you do is going to happen. So in some sense, there's free will, in another sense... There's no free will because at some point that universe that you live was going to play out. So it's interesting to think that there's both, you know, things are determined and predetermined at the same time. And I feel like that that's kind of in science you see a lot of these, what's the word that you would call it? These kind of like dualities between two things, kind of like a yin and yang where you have, you know, light and dark, chaos, order, you know, energy and mass e equals mc squared, everything is kind of bounced out. I feel like that would make sense that, you know, both free will and, or both determinism and the idea that we have free will are kind of both happening at the same time. But a lot of these ideas that I've been talking about are uh, Roger Penrose, the theoretical physicist, physicist Robert, Roger Penrose. Um, he talked about in his conformal cyclic cosmology idea that he has that, you know, the the end of the universe is really, you know, the singularity of another 
big bang that's going to happen. I think it's crazy to think that you think of like how the big bang was started, you know, the universe was very small, very condensed thing, but the end of the universe, everything is evenly distributed is this infinitely huge thing that you, your brain can't even comprehend. But in the next iteration of the universe, that you know, huge expanse is the little teeny thing that is before the next big bang. That's just uh, far out to think about. So really it's all just perspective, you know? When the universe is evenly distributed at the end, you know, there's no more, no more matter, you know, and the time doesn't really exist at, at that point when things are just so evenly distributed that there's no more, no more matter in the universe. It's just photons and little particles. The idea of scale doesn't really mean anything at that point. But yeah, yeah, some interesting thoughts. A lot of you guys had a lot of interesting things to say about that. But we'll keep the conversation going. You know, I'm not an expert in really a lot of these things. I'm just kind of speculating. But if you have any critiques of what I said and uh, have any pointers of things I should learn about, you know, feel free to let me know. Um, I'm here to learn new things and listen to you guys and hear what you have to say and kind of get a conversation going. But anyway, I know I kind of rambled a little bit there, but that was a good, a good check-in video for the day. And... I guess at this point, we will see you later. So, bye. Wow.